By now, you've probably seen the insane galaxy blueprint going around, and I want to get my grubby little hands on it. And to do that, we need to go into the new Elder Dark Aether and defeat the secret Easter egg boss, the entity's Echo. And I'm going to do it solo. So for my strategy here, I'm going to be coming in with two wonder weapons, and I really hope these can carry me through it because I used the VR11 to take out the Red Worm solo, and that did really well against it. So hopefully it'll do well against the entity's Echo. And I'm going to be trying to emulate a strat that I saw when I was scrolling through reddit from joker where they just had an absolutely insane run of going through the elder sigil completing every contract in it and defeating the boss and if you want to see their absolutely insane run i'm gonna have it linked down below and hopefully i can just have an ounce of the skill that they got to complete this and i will be doing it with a bit of a twist for one i have a room temperature iq so i think that might hold me back a little bit and i also don't have any golden armor plates at the moment they're currently on cooldown so i can't bring those in unfortunately same with an aether blade but we're gonna try to do our best we'll also be battling against my horrendous luck and i'm i really don't want to speak it into existence but i'm really hoping we don't crash because this is the one elder sigil i have so it's gonna really hurt if i have to go into the dark aether and try to find a whole nother one Oh, okay. Nice. Awesome. I don't even know what killed me there. We're already off to a good start, I guess. But we got to take our time before we go into the Elder on getting set up because we're already going down within like a minute into this game. So I'm going to need to bring in a few self revives, a jug, and anything else that we can find to help. Maybe some cashmere's too. Oh, God damn it, dude. I can't believe this. Of course, right when the contract ends, we're off to a historic start. Oh, what a saint. No, my reward rift went away right when I got over here. This is awful. All right, well, at least we still got the money from it. Let's go buy a self-revive before I decide to do something stupid again. Maybe two of them. You know what? That's all part of the plan. I'm just getting the, the going down out of my system. <laughs> Please, not while I'm talking about it. That way, I uh, don't feel the need to do it while we're trying to do an important boss fight. That's why I usually start in tier two, but I was feeling confident coming in here with two wonder weapons. And one big important step of setting up for this to make sure we save as much time as possible in the Elder is to do a spore contract. Because to do the first part of the little side quest once you're in the Elder to unlock that boss fight is you need to use one of the inhibitors from this contract to open up one of the spores that's in the Dark Aether. So I want to go ahead and try to knock this out. So we can kill two birds with one stone here by getting set up money-wise and getting an item that we really need. And this should do it for our contract right right here let's just make sure we pick these back up and stow those away so we don't forget about them and let's get back to making some money all right i think i'm almost fully set up here i'm just debating on what i feel like is more important to bring in i do have a dog bone here and a disciple companion i was thinking about using the disciple during the main boss fight like i saw joker do to kind of just brain rot other things that are there on the battlefield you know help distract and keep the zombies away from me and i kind of have the same idea with the dog bone but i think i might just use it now to open up a free space in my inventory but i don't know if i want to put another self revive in here or if i want to throw in another jug or what would be the most optimal for like what i got in my skill set i just really wish i had one of those grenade belts to use so i can just constantly replenish my cashmere's but i don't have a single schematic for the new dark aether yet i feel like it's probably smarter to bring in another jug so let me spawn in my dog now because it will just respawn when we go to the dark aether and if it stays alive long enough not only will it distract zombies and keep them away from me but it will revive me assuming it lives past like the first three seconds of the dark aether so i'm bringing in another jug i'm pretty nervous to do this because i haven't attempted to do this easter egg yet but i think we're ready we got everything we need let's make sure we have our inhibitors already equipped and let's go into the elder come on we got this are you fucking kidding me matchmaking canceled why i lose everything awesome glad i get to bring my inhibitor out this is this is such a joke all right well i guess i need to go do a whole nother dark aether run to get me another elder sigil Awesome. This is sweet. No way that just fucking happened. I can't win. Literally. Where am I? If I fall far enough, I'll just teleport to the next Aether. I've never seen this shit happen before in my life. I, I said I was unlucky. I called it, dude. I'm just falling infinitely. I'm fucking lost in space. He's shaking. He's so scared. Whatever dev out there is messing with me, why? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Maybe I should just let myself drown. Maybe going down will help. Let's see. Nope, I just fully, I just fully die. That was a fun run, wasn't it? All right, it's an entire day later. I think I'm finally set back up for this. I got four jugs, five self-revives, two cashmere's. I have my inhibitors here. 
both my wonder weapons. Let's see if we can do this. Please don't kick me out. Let's go. I think we're good. Let's do this. Use a scorcher right away, and I'm going straight for that spore. Come here, buddy. Let's toss these down. Get to breaking it. And I've never done any of the steps for this Easter egg, so I'm a little scared about this maze part. Because I have to look over here. Yep, there's an arrow this way. Another one here. We just got to keep running. I go right through this. That's going to tell me go through here. This way. Let's Aether Shroud. Just give me a little more time. Going down this way. Then over here. Then up here. Arrow's still pointing over this way. I hope I'm doing this right. Down over here. Oh no. Oh, I'm getting lost and there's a lot of zombies now. Oh, I, I can't find any arrows. Did I do it wrong? I might have. Let's try this again. Go up here. And you go down through here. Keep going this way. No going down, though. We don't need a, a down right here. Fuck. There's way too many zombies. So where do I keep messing this up at? Gotta go this way. Over here. Back into here somehow. I need all the zombies to move. Oh, nice. Awesome. Another one. Sweet. We're off to a great start. This way. This way. And we're there. We got it. You know, that's fine. We were just making room for the skull. Now we go back to where the spore was. And if we go into here... There's a nice big whale. Now we gotta make an, a little trade. We'll trade in the skull for a USB. And now we just need to go to a building and set that into the computer. But before we do that, I want to try to do this escort contract. I want to see if I can get it done. I'm still going to attempt all the contracts before we go into that boss. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this. So I'm just going to stow that away for now, just in case I'm not. And I do have a grenade bandolier now and gold armor. So I am a bit better off than the first time we went to go attempt this. Hopefully it works out for us. Start up the ACV now. If I can do this ACV with a spear, I can definitely do it with a VR-11. It's just going to take a very long time. It's going to take up like all the time in this Aether. But while we're on the way there, we can stop at the building to spawn in that boss with this thumb drive. All right, our first stop. I already don't have that much ammo on this. So we got to use it sparingly. This is so tough, actually. I need to get back in that alleyway to move this ACV again. They're in there messing it up. Holy shit, a whole horde's on it. Holy shit, let me through. No, no way. We already have too many downs for this. We're still fine. As long as we're still alive, we're good. It's still possible. It might have been a huge mistake to try to do these contracts. I don't give a shit. I'm at least getting some schematics out of this. Because we can just heal it right here. Aether Shroud. Let's get this in place. And then we should be able to refill our ammo right here. Perfect. Playing like a bit of a dunce, but it's fine. We're making it work. I don't remember there being this many elites last time I did this. I'm pretty sure in this building right here is where we go to spawn in the boss. So let's just get this in position first to make sure it's at good health before we go in to do that. All right, here we go. It's starting up. We get it up to 100. Let's switch to our Scorcher. Let's fly away. I'm going to go into this building here. And find the computer. Pretty sure it's right here. Throw that in there and the boss will spawn. And we'll, I'll be right with you, sir. He's going to have to follow me over to the ACV. So I'm not doing as well as I, I saw Joker in the video doing. We're still making our way. 
We have three self revives. Oh, we're playing this so dangerously. We just need to get up this little ramp. I'm going to make sure this is fully healed. I'm going to call in my jug. Little Aether Shroud. Give me the jug. Let's light him up. Come on. This abomination needs to go down. Our ACV is already going to take off. Our Mangor boss is here. We are out of jug. We still beat the contract. And I took out a good amount of these zombies. Including the bosses. Oh, of course his name's the key holder. I got a key you can hold. Okay, I'm definitely not doing this optimally at all. Like, at all. Holy shit. I will perfect this, though. I will get this down. Oh, we don't need our jug. We can get him with the VR-11. Why are you running away? Oh, he's healing. So you work like a normal bounty, huh? There we go. Got him. Give me your key. The rest of you can fuck off. What did I give for my reward? Oh, another self buy. Beautiful. I'm going to use that. And we only have three minutes left in here. I might be able to do another contract, but I don't know if I don't risk the rest of my self revives. I did not think I was going to go down that many times on the escort. That is an insane sentence. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Damn, I did not think it was going to be like this tough. Like I knew this, this elder sigil was insanely hard, but I definitely underestimated it. Big props to Joker for cleaning every contract and the boss solo. We'll open up the door. Let's make sure we have a jug equipped and a cashmere equipped. And I guess let's just do this. We ain't got nothing else to lose. Oof. This is uh, this is gonna be tough. I like how you have the option to dip out at any time with that being right there. Oh, come on, entity. I'm not scared of you. The only thing that can stop me is me. You can yell all you want with your Fortnite ass skin. This should mess you up. Or maybe not, actually. Let's call on our jug. What if we just do that? No mimic, bad. Very bad mimic. Ooh. So we can break the orbs pretty good with this. She really doing her best Legion impression. We'll see how much that helps her. Can we get her from here too? Oh, we can. Clean. There we go. We already got good damage on her. Let's keep it going. I'll call it another jug on you if I have to. Uh-oh. Not good. Let me fly and dodge that. That actually might be meta. Let me throw out gamer terms while I'm doing this. Ooh, what a snipe. The VR-11 is actually so good against her. What do you think you're running to? Okay, let's fly. Dodge her airstrike. We already got her close to half health. She healed a little bit there from her balls. That ain't stopping me. What's stopping me is this VR-11 reload. This shit is slow as hell. Hit her in the mouth. Get her in the hands. No, 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 no. I didn't know that was a thing. Thank God it didn't fully kill me. Holy shit, I've never been more scared in my life. Because we have her low. I would have been pissed. We have all these jugs, we might as well use them. Let's also use our Scorcher. Try to keep the zombies away. I think we're fine, I think we're good. As long as I don't fumble and go down a bunch of times. We're, we're chilling. I just need to get to my jug. And she do, do not want me to do that. Oh, wait. So going on that launcher gets rid of the jug, in case you guys wanted to know. I think we have more. That's that's very good to know. That would have sucked if that was my last ditch effort. But she is back in prime position for me to call in a, another one. If I was accurate, she would be basically dead already. All right, here we go. Get the zombies away. Light her up. Yeah, teleport, coward. Oh, I am getting mobbed. No of the dead. Ooh, 
there we go. We have her insanely low. Now we got no more jugs to fall back on. Just me and a VR-11. It also keeps resetting my cashmere cooldown on my bandolier. I don't know why it's doing that. But we'll persevere. Ooh, maybe not. Come on. Hit a shot challenge. Holy shit, this is tough. There we go. That's another one. Mimic. You know what? That's fine. She's so low on health, I don't care. We're killing her right here. Come on. One of these shots gotta land. Stop moving so much. Oh, come on. We have to jump. I gotta make it to this rift. There we go. Just a quick little reset. So we can grab some more ammo. Oh, of course, then you move. Coward. We're so close. Let's finish this right here. Oh, let's go. That's it. Get nuked. Goodbye. See you later. What a beautiful looking boss fight. Holy shit. Night, night. Let's go get our reward. Let's go. The entity blueprint has been unlocked. And let's take a peek at it. Ooh. Look at all these rewards too. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, stash increase. Let's go. That's the one I wanted. Oh, let me get a nice little peek at this. I love it when they do camos like this. I don't know the term for it, but it's like one giant image and you just move around the entire thing on top of just a galaxy pattern being insanely nice. This is like a combination of like Dark Aether and Orion. Oh, God damn. I'm so glad we did that. That was first try too. First attempt, soloed it. I couldn't have done it without watching uh, the video by Joker. Again, appreciate you, Joker. If you want to see an actually insane round or run, check him out. And VR11, you can stay here as the entity vanquisher. You now own this realm and you have to pay property taxes on it. So good luck with that, buddy. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Oh, and we came out holding it. That's beautiful. Also, I, I want to see how beautiful the stash looks now. Let's go, dude. 18 out of 30. We can start stuffing it. And taking a better look at it in game. This is just an absolutely beautiful blueprint. Such a sweet idea for it. And I hope they do more stuff like this in the future. But maybe make it a camo instead. Because it'd be nice to throw this on some other weapons. But speaking of camos, let's see what it looks like with some other camos on it. Here is the Synth Bust Event Camo on it. And it's a little bit subtle. I try to get some camos on here that match the colors. And this is like perfect. It just adds like a little bit of texture to the camo. It, I, I just think it looks pretty sweet. And then this is it with Interstellar. And honestly, you can't even really tell. It just might add like a few more stars in there and just make that galaxy look a bit more fleshed out. Maybe even a bit more blue. And then this is Borealis on it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it shows up a whole lot. You can just barely see a little bit of the camo on there. And in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like when you remove all the attachments on it. This is why I really wish it was a camo and not a blueprint. Because if you want to put on some like better attachments, some more meta attachments for any mode that you're playing, you basically only get like the receiver of the weapon to look like how the blueprint is which is a bit disappointing. And then if we bring it in the dark, it just really stands out. What a great looking blueprint and what a sweet reward. But there you have it. My dumb ass was able to solo the echo of the entity and we got a contract done in the elder at the same time. Was it the smartest idea? No. Could I probably done it with a few less mistakes? Probably. But did I do it on the first try? You bet your sweet bippy I did. And I think my goal going forward is I want to keep practicing that and get as good as Joker was at it because it is just such a smooth run to do. It almost feels like perfecting a speed run. But I'm going to need to get a lot of practice in. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.